What is up everybody? It is Guy Smiley here. And today we have a little tutorial for you all. Um, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this netted M1 pot helmet for your World War II or Vietnam era war minifigures. And uh, it uses some very com common materials actually. Uh, stuff you might already have in your house, especially if you like cheese. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, so yeah, it looks pretty good, too. It looks very realistic. It's a lot cheaper than buying helmets from, say, Minifigs RS or Citizen Brick that already have the netting just printed on them. Because this one, this one is, this, this is actually real netting here. So it actually has kind of a 3D effect, which is pretty nice. So let's get started with this tutorial right now. Alright guys, so here are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, four things to make this helmet. You're going to need scissors, you're going to need a glue stick, and El I'm going to be using the Elmer's Washable School Glue Gel glue stick. Uh, this one works very well. I haven't tried any, any other ones. I would definitely uh, make sure that you get a clear one. Don't use the purple one. I know it dries clear, but um, it might not actually dry clear, and it might still be a little bit purple on a plastic helmet. And you're also going to need a Brick Arms helmet. I'm going to use an M1 pot helmet, but you can actually do this technique with pretty much any helmet you want by uh, your favorite customizer. And you are also going to need cheesecloth. This is the main material. This is how you get the netted look on the helmet. You can buy uh, like nine square feet of this on Amazon for like four dollars and it'll last you like pretty much a lifetime because <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to make one helmet so you can use this your whole life and just make helmets make it like an unlimited amount of really awesome netted pot helmets for like four dollars for this cheesecloth here uh, but yeah so what you're gonna do first off to start is you are going to take a piece of the cheesecloth and cut a piece off so I uh, cut a big piece because you want to be able to grip it. You want to be able to hold the cheesecloth easily. You don't want to be fumbling around with a tiny little piece. So just take a piece of cheesecloth about this big. And then you're going to take your helmet and use the glue stick and just apply the glue very liberally to the top of the helmet and be sure to get it everywhere. Just apply it in every spot. Every spot on top of the helmet. And make sure that you get a lot in the little crack there where the rim is because that's where it's going to be most likely to kind of mess up and the uh, cheesecloth will kind of come up at the edges. And then it won't work very well. And it's okay if you've got big clumps on there. It'll, they'll uh, be uh, pressed down and smoothed out once you put the cheesecloth on. And then also put some on the underside as well. The underside of the rim. Don't put any in, inside the actual helmet. Only on the underside of the rim. So now that we have got the glue on the helmet, we're going to take our cheesecloth and we are going to put it over the top of the helmet and press the cheesecloth down and kind of make sure that it's not bunched up in any spots and then kind of grab it and bunch it up and kind of push it under up underneath the helmet now your fingers are going to get dirty <laughs> if you uh, are making this helmet they're going to get glue on them you just have to be willing to do that and what you can also do is you can twist so that the helmet gets nicely, so you get some tension in the cheesecloth. And then what you want to do is you want to take your fingernail and you want to press the cheesecloth down into the rim of the helmet there, all the way around. <laughs> Alright, so then once it looks good, you want to just leave it here and let the helmet sit for about 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. 
and then that way it gives the glue a chance to dry a little bit so that when you cut the cheesecloth it's going to be less likely to you're going to be less likely to mess it up when you're actually like cutting all this cheesecloth off from underneath the helmet and uh, cutting out around the rim so leave it sit for five leave it to sit for five minutes five actually maybe ten minutes i would do and then that way it dries and then it'll be much more stable when you come to do the final adjustments. All right guys, so it's been about uh, 10 minutes now. So this is probably dried just a little bit. And uh, one thing you don't want to forget to do is put the cap on your glue stick. So while this was drying, I just went in and I washed my hands so that my hands wouldn't stick to the cheesecloth so much. I suppose you could use gloves if you wanted to. Um, they might help because they might not stick to the glue as much, but uh, I don't have I don't have any time for gloves. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. So we'll just get, we're just going to cut the cheesecloth out. And then we're going to cut it out of the little, out of the hole on the bottom of the helmet. So you want to take your time with this and you want to go very slow. And you want to use lots of little cuts. Just kind of do it, take, take your time. Okay, so at this point, um, what you want to do now is you want to cut around the edge of the helmet. Cut around the entire edge and try to get all of this excess cloth off of the helmet. So what we're doing now is we're just going around the edge of the helmet and kind of smoothing it out. And then we're going to do one final, one more cut around the edge of the helmet to get any more excess stuff off. Alright guys, and I think that's pretty much done there. So what we're going to do now, this is the last step is you want to put the helmet on a figure and you want to make sure that there's no shards on the helmet and then you want to go around the helmet one more time with the glue stick and you want to put uh, glue especially in the edges of the helmet because with another layer of glue on top it'll prevent the cheesecloth from coming up anymore uh, during when you're like holding it or just uh, taking it on and off the figure. It'll prevent the cheesecloth from becoming dislodged. And this does, it, ju it does dry clear so if you see some clumps I think that they will, they'll dry clear, clear colored. But you can always uh, just smooth out the clumps with your fingers. And then you're pretty much done. So now we can uh, take the helmet and we can put it on one of my Vietnam minifigures. And there you have it. A finished netted M1 pot helmet. Of course it doesn't look the best because obviously I was doing this with a camera between my face and my hands. But uh, you can definitely try to do this. You can use trial and error and just uh, try it multiple times. And eventually it'll actually turn out looking pretty good because I made two of them. I made this one yesterday that looks pretty good. This one actually looks pretty good too. It'll probably look better once it dries and the glue is actually clear. And you can also use this technique if you want to for your German minifigures as well. You can put the uh, netting on a Stahlhelm like I have done here. So it, it pretty much works for any type of helmet from any era. Uh, you can use it on pretty much anything. Uh, but yeah, so uh, these turned out pretty nicely. Even the one that we made in this video actually looks pretty good. So uh, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below, especially if you guys have, were able to make these yourself. Uh, I would really like to see it if you guys uh, were able to make it. 
and leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video.